You ready for this one? A long wait till Monday here on Anzac Day. They hand through the banner at Amy Park as the crowd has downstairs made by Harry Grant in particular. Egan, dummy half, Johnson, Walsh, has them backpedaling, the pass hits the turf though, he was taken high, Justin Ollum very apologetic there for the contact, and the Warriors get a second straight penalty. Yeah, example of the speed on Reese Walsh. And a big play to score the opening points of the game here tonight, Smith in the middle of the field, going to Munster, comes away to Ollum, big fan, gets a pass away, back on the inside for Munster, looking for Pappenhausen, he had a fit. As for Solomon, just in the out of hamstring, maybe just a, a bit of tightness there as opposed to a, 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 the feeling of a strain, perhaps. No good. Second play, you've, you've just given the ball over. And look where Melbourne is. Good contest building here at Amy Park. Warren Smith, Greg Alexander. line. Oh, there's a flat one indeed. Now has to beat her again. Johnson under pressure. Throws a no-looker. Straight to Nick Meany. Nobody in front of him. He's a real speedster. Walsh can scoot as well, but Meany runs away. A big mistake again. The attacking line of the Warriors. Just watch it, Johnson. The pressure from Justin Ollum. Didn't get a lot off the pass. It was a floating, awkward spinning pass. Just didn't have the power to get to Zalesniak as quickly as it should. It sat up in the air, made it easy for Nick Meany. And we're only talking about you don't want the Storm to get two tries in front. It was a perfect start to the set. A mistake from Melbourne. Gave them a scrum inside Melbourne's half. But very early in the tackle count, they've, they've offered that up. Munster with it here. Oh, jumping out of dummy half, doing what he does so well. Oh, his body at them and saying, stop me if you can. I can say it cross just outside the 20. I think Pappenhausen was thinking about it, playing it as well, and just judged, his, judged it was just going to be about a, a foot in. Uh, he did a really good job in the final 60 seconds. It's Grant who finds Hughes, his muscles. Deck from his left hand side. Ollum straight past the defence. Stopped there by Johnson and also Walsh. Walsh should be penalised here for some high contact now on Justin Ollum. And Cameron Munson thinks he should be set from the field. Just so. Happy game, guys. Ollum oh, went straight past Jesse Arthurs. Walsh not for the first time to No. no. They've had their difficulties on those edges, both right and left of Warriors, stopping the Melbourne Storm outside backs. Just a point blank miss there, and then Walsh coming forward. They've got him high, there's no question about that. Well, Ollum was ducking into the... I, I don't think it was a shoulder charge. I, I think he actually hit him with his hip. So Ollum had ducked under the shoulder. And caught him with the hip. Haven't we got some good left centers playing at the moment? Big Siffa. Some powerful ones. Well, some powerful ones, yeah. Follow the play. Comes across here to Johnson. Kick. Oh, oh, Try in the first half. Now they go through the hands. But then he's a Lesnia. Here's a kick. Olam will take it out of play. And they've got themselves a goal line drop. The man involved in that collision. That's the sort of moment back on the bench on the bike at the moment. 18 points to nil. In the second half, all in favour of Melbourne in the space of 15 minutes. It's been eventful. It'll be a tough review of the video for the young winger when he takes a look back and sees the obvious mistakes he's made here this evening. The minute cuddle after the game. Oh, speaking of cuddles, there's no cuddling when it's Lodge versus Moirawa. Lodge came again. Munster didn't like it. Well, the boys getting a bit jiggy with it. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. But he, may, he, he put the shot on Moroa. Now he needs to get out of there, but he had to go back in for that that extra bit. Big Nelson on the sideline. So the, oh, this is the way they're going to play. Get Lee back out there. Huge collision between the two. That's the sort of stuff that's got Lodge in trouble in the past. Mate, the yeah, a few moments towards the back end. Everything, in 2021, the situations like this. You can understand.
understand what they saw from behind the Melbourne players, why they reacted as they did. Penalty for stupidity. As the process is the same, Shane. Uh, we saw a couple of moments at the back end of 20 from Lodge. Four players got off the back of the penalty. Grant showing it. Links up with Olin. Johnson is going backwards, going, oh my goodness. There's a Papua New Guinean freight train coming towards me. Some more, some more ammo. Here come the Melbourne Storm. And it's Olin who puts it down. It's the Warriors one from five. I thought you were saying you were one from five as far as the, the two up goes. Munster for Hughes. He's more than one from five. They're ten out of ten. Running the space. He just doesn't create space. He can hit the hole as well. Another Warriors error. Justin Ollum worries them down that left side. Almost skipped on the outside. Pushed the ball back. Picked up by Meany. And then Munster, as he does, drifts across the field. Waits to drag in Harris to Vida. And then just wrong foot's Reese. One more before Stumps. Here is Grant for Munster. He's away into the backfield. Ollum. Ollum versus Walsh. The speedster can't stop the power. try that's how you celebrated here tonight what an exclamation mark to finish this match surely they haven't got another one in them but they've traveled 100 meters trent the arrow slipped over in the in goal area and i thought well that might put paid to a try to finish with and not see them get 70 but pappenhausen and munster just over the advantage line harry grant does his thing or it was brandon smith out of dummy half Munster kicking out of another tackle. How many tackles has he broken tonight? Cameron Munster and then a little juggernaut. Justin Ollum down this left-hand side. Drags Reese Walsh five, six, seven, eight metres to the try line. Grant it was. Pappenhausen looming up. Munster throws it out to Ollum. Pappenhausen's off. Yeah, and I was hoping that they had the trick shot and they're three, they're nine. He's playing 13 at the moment. Went down that short side. Harry Grant just back ball back inside to Munster. Beautiful little trick shot. Once again, it's easy to talk about these things, but to get them on the right people. They had two plays made, got the same mark. They've made him make two tackles back to back. Some beautiful and some smart football. Nathan Brown is part of this and George Lawarrick Dragons team who were beaten 70 points to 10 by the Melbourne Storm at the MCG on a fateful night. Cast your mind back, of course, all the way to 2000 when Anthony Mundine had said about the Melbourne Storm, the Dragons feeling like they were the real premiers. Nathan Brown was part of that team that night. Here we are, 22 years later, he's the coach of the Warriors and it's 70 points to 10. This the Melbourne's biggest ever win. Meany can't convert it. They stay locked with that team from 22 years ago at 70 points to 10. And what a night it's been for the Melbourne Storm. 10 tries in this second half alone. Just incredible. Just incredible. Four or five conversions missed two by the Melbourne Storm. We could be talking 80. That's not a great sign on the Warriors bench also for Josh Curran, who we saw come from the field earlier on with that knee injury. And boy, haven't things changed since he left the field. Well, 25 seconds remaining here still. Here is Moira Boy, Lodge was there, so is Tavanga. The big boys in the middle banging right to the end. He'll play it. He's had 10 of those carries in the second half, tip by Moira He's earned his money the hard way tonight. Every time they score a try, he says, boy, I've got to do it again. Grant takes it out of play. It's a record equaling win for the Melbourne Storm here this evening. Another massive scoreline on Anzac Day. And Amy Park against the Warriors. Xavier Coach grabs four tries. Melbourne score 10 second half tries for 13 in total. And they've beaten the Warriors 70 points to...